Rod Rosmo had been clinically deaf for two years when he received cochlear implants. It was like, oh my God, you're kidding. Listen, listen to that. But now, eight years later, the 70-year-old retired psychologist has learned he has to replace the external sound processor, a critical component that helps send sound signals to his brain. Once it's off warranty, Saskatchewan's government doesn't cover a new processor if it breaks down. And without it, Rosmo can't hear. My jaw dropped. And I said, what's this cost? She said, $11,730 per air. What? Seven-year-old Daphne Reynolds will need a lot of replacements in her lifetime. Her mother doesn't understand why the Ontario Health Plan will implant a device and then not maintain it. The surgery, which must have been extremely expensive for the government health care system, ends up being for naught in the sense that without the external device that connects to it, hearing cannot be provided. Ontario says it covers 75% of the upgrade cost, but with a limit, so it's actually less than half. If Daphne lived in Quebec, that province would cover the entire cost of new processors when old ones become obsolete. Manitoba just bumped its coverage up to 80%. Evan Kessler just received a new processor, and his parents' work benefits covered much of it. His mother, who teaches deaf students, says hearing shouldn't be restricted to the privileged. So many things have to go just right for my students to be able to get the equipment <laughs> They need to access education through listening. As for Rosmo, the government says he should use private insurance. But the health minister has agreed to meet with him. Bonnie Allen, CBC News, Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan.